Movies in the thriller genre are those that give viewers heightened emotions. They can elicit excitement, fear, or anticipation. Although it's quite sad that most recent movies are all CGI and edited with poor plots, we can always go back to the old movies that gave us good experiences. In this video, we'll be revisiting some of the best thrillers ever produced. Well, not really the movies, but the killers that made the movies worth watching. Stay tuned and watch the video to the end. Number six, Ghostface, Scream. While I'm not a big fan of this killer, I cannot deny him a spot on his list. You might have seen many individuals wear his mask as a Halloween costume, his attire is a black hood and cloak, and white rubber mask resembling a screaming ghost, and he's the antagonist of the Scream movie series. One major reason I'm not a fan is that the movie needles between natural and supernatural. What I mean by this is that normal humans who put on the ghost face costume exhibit extreme strength, durability, and stealth abilities. It's pretty cool, but just a pick aside. Everything seems to revolve around the mask, so there really aren't any brains behind it or true motive, just humans being controlled by a mask. However, although Ghost Face isn't one individual, the masked character is always voiced by Roger L. Jackson. So, you might not notice much differences when different people put on the mask. The villain also has a signature weapon, a buck knife, which he uses to a lot of throats and disembowels his victims. One common thing you'd see him do is call victims and taunt them before invading their homes and killing them. Number five, Pennywise. It. Pennywise is the villain from the movie It, a 2017 American supernatural horror film directed by Andy Muschietti and written by Chase Palmer, Kerry Fukunaga, and Gary Doberman. When the movie was first released, I didn't think too much of it. I thought it was just another horror movie, maybe with some extreme sound effects to give you goosebumps, you know, the usual. However, after a news of a woman who died while watching the movie became viral on the internet, the movie got my attention. I am not certain that a person died, but it was enough to get all of us watching, and the movie blew my mind. Pennywise the Clown, the killer of the movie, resurfaces to attack the children of Derry, Maine every 27 years. He would normally lure them while pretending to be a harmless clown before devouring them with his razor-sharp teeth. I know the plot is a bit twisted now that children are involved, but if you love thriller movies, you have to watch it. One unfortunate thing that makes Pennywise higher in the hierarchy of killers is that he feeds on fear and he has no lack of it. I mean, who would hear a child-eating clown and would not be scared? Just in case you're still confused, he's not human. He can take any form it pleases, but usually takes the form of a clown when preying upon children. It is believed that he originated before the creation of the universe and he has since been feeding on children with no exceptions. Number four, Michael Myers, Halloween. If you watch the movies of the Halloween franchise, then this character should not be strange to you. Also known as The Shape, this killer is a cold-blooded killer that doesn't respond to any emotions. What earns him a spot on this list is that he isn't like other killers. There are no interactions between him and his victims, and he's very focused, which means that it's very hard to escape him. Because his primary weapon is a butcher's knife, his victims do not get the luxury of a painless death. He has no lines in any of the films, and he is just pure evil. When described by his psychiatrist, he was regarded as a six-year-old child with a blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes. Another frightening thing about Michael Myers is that his objective is never obvious. While attempting to kill a person, if you were to be in the way, you'll fall a victim to his butcher's knife and be left dead in the pool of your blood. From an early age, he stabbed his sister Judith to death. After being sent to a mental institutions to get better, he escaped. Then it became clear that he wasn't just a psychopath. Throughout the Halloween franchise, he was always able to commit his crimes without getting caught by the police. No fingerprints, no tracks, he kills and disappears. So even though there was nothing supernatural about him, he earned a spot on this list. When you see the spray-painted white mask he wears in each film, you just know the movie will keep you at the edge of your seat. Number three, Freddy Krueger. Nightmare on Elm Street. If you have been a fan of horror movies, then this killer needs no introduction. 
However, for those that are new to the genre, Freddy Krueger is a horror icon who is the antagonist of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. He's been featured multiple times in cartoons and references have been made to him in lots of movies. The killer taunts his victims in a red and green sweater and dark brown fedora. He has a razor blade glove with long metal claws which he uses to kill victims. This killer appears in several teenagers' dreams every time, so his victims try their best to stay awake because when they sleep, they're tormented by a burnt figure. While he was still alive, he killed at least 20 children, which could be blamed on his terrible past. However, after being released from jail, a group of parents of the children set his boiler room on fire, which burned him to death. Now as a supernatural creature, he takes revenge on the children of the parents who killed him. One of the things that make him scary is that he can kill you in your dreams and can also kill you while you're awake. So there's really no escaping him unless you have good plot armor. You know he's coming for you when you hear his razor blades scraping along metal, or you hear girls jump roping and singing, one, two, Freddy's coming for you. I can assure you of a good scare when you watch the movie. Two, Hannibal Lecter, Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs, the memories I have when I remember the movie gives me chills. It was no surprise when the movie got a rating of 8.8 .8 on IMDb. The killer Hannibal Lecter was one of a kind, a psychiatrist who was also a psychopath. I mean, how do you handle such a case? Hannibal was very intelligent and knew how to read people, so you wouldn't want this man to get in your head. One of the most iconic scenes from the movie was when he confused another to kill himself. While he was trapped in the cell, Hannibal the Cannibal earned his nickname because he ate the flesh of his victims. He killed his victims and turned them into supper. If you think that was already disgusting enough, he fed the human flesh to unsuspecting guests, so you see why he needed to be locked in a cage. Aside from his gruesome method of killing, what made him a very dangerous killer was how he controlled his emotions. One of the stories that was narrated about him in the movie was how he bit the face of a nurse and there was no change in his blood pressure. Before his first imprisonment, Lecter managed to kill at least nine people. Sometimes you wonder how the cops catch these sorts of killers with no motive and very high IQ. You should definitely check out this movie, but not while you're eating. Number one, Jigsaw. Saw. Jigsaw was one of the first movies with your scenes I watched. There was a lot of blood, cut off limbs, and lots of dead people. Unlike most people on this list, Jigsaw didn't have any mental condition, nor did he just enjoy killing people. For him, it was a sort of vengeful mission and God helps you if you were on his list. His name is John Kramer, and he was the main antagonist of the Saw film series. I recommend this film if you think horror movies do not have any effect on you. As I earlier said, he was not a psychopath. He was just a former engineer dying from a frontal lobe tumor. Due to his deteriorating health condition, he decided to take his life, but it's easier said than done. After realizing how much he wanted to live, he created a game where he forces his victims to appreciate their life by making them face certain death in the games. Most games are timed so that things are always refreshing, so you can forget about standing up from your seat when you begin this movie. A common experience in his games is where he forces his victims to hurt themselves or others to escape. He directs all the activities while watching from cameras, so nobody ever saw his face. Falling a victim to his hames will mean certain death unless you're ready to survive. I mean, chop off your body parts when asked to. Jigsaw is in a league of his own. Well guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, and if you have any questions, let us know in the comments section below.